Rachel from BlondeWayFair.com and I wanted to share this quick video all about travel tips for Alsace in France, which actually also borders Germany and is way different than the region Lorraine. So let's get started. So first and foremost, I want to talk about why a video for Alsace. Well, I love traveling to France, guys. I think it's a beautiful country. The food is delicious. The history is amazing. And really what's great about France is each region is so, so different that it's almost like traveling to a different country. And that's especially the case with Alsace because it borders Germany and this region has toggled back and forth for hundreds of years, which makes it a really cool travel experience. And I highly recommend that you check it out, especially if you're flying into Paris or into Frankfurt. It's only a quick train ride away, especially if you're going to Strasbourg, which is the biggest city in Alsace. So let's talk a little bit more about how to plan your stay in this amazing region of France. I love it and I know that you will too. First and foremost, let's talk about the best time to visit Alsace. A lot of people love the Christmas markets, but it does get insanely crowded and you need to plan up to a year in advance. That's why I personally preferred Easter. They still had a lot of really cool festivals, but the crowds were manageable. And I really felt like I had a more intimate view of Strasbourg and Colmar in particular. But of course, if you wanna to go to the Christmas markets, I completely understand the pictures are out of this world. Just make sure that you make your reservations in advance, sometimes up to a year in advance. My next travel tip has to do with getting around the region. France in general has a really amazing public transit system with their high speed trains and local trains. However, for this region, it can be tough without your own rental car. And that's kind of a bummer. If you really want to see a lot of these tinier villages, there are some buses and things, but they don't really go to where tourists want to go. So my advice is renting your own car. And if you're coming from the United States, just keep in mind that a lot of the cars in France are manual and not automatic. So you need to learn how to drive with a stick shift in order to operate the car properly. So if you're comfortable doing that, by all means rent your own car but if you don't want to rent a car you can always opt on to a guided tour especially a nice small group tour it'll take out a lot of the hassle of planning um, going between the villages by yourself which is really really nice what I personally did because I didn't have a ton of time unfortunately is I just dedicated three days to Strasbourg and to Colmar and while it was phenomenal I do wish that I had more time as well as my own rental car to see and do more in the region for a little bit. This city is the largest in the region and it really is phenomenal for sightseeing. So even if your heart's set on smaller villages, definitely base yourself here a few nights, particularly to see the cathedral, which is a gorgeous UNESCO World Heritage Site and well worth your time and energy. Now, something that I do need to bring up is don't be discouraged by long lines outside the cathedral. They really do move quickly, and unless you're going to see the astronomical clock go off, you can go in and out of the cathedral whenever you want. I personally recommend doing a separate tour up to the top of the tower, but I don't believe there are any elevators or anything like that. It's an old cathedral, so make sure you pack your comfiest shoes to go to the top because it is a massive trek. Next, let's talk about my favorite topic, which is food. <laughs> but honestly, the food in this area of France is absolutely phenomenal. But make sure um, that you pack your fat clothes because the food is very, very heavy. Lots of cheese and pastries and wine. Um, so don't come to Strasbourg or Comar expecting to eat light because you will not. You may think that you'll be able to, but you will not. It's very heavy food, but it's so, so, so good. And obviously, if you have your heart set on certain restaurants, be sure to make a reservation in advance. Most of the restaurants will allow you to make reservations online, so you'll have no problem with that. Furthermore, I never would eat breakfast at the hotel. Instead, I would just walk and get some pastries. But seriously, don't worry about the calories. You're on vacation, enjoy. And if you need a little exercise, go on a free walking tour. 
In particular, the free walking tour that I went on in Strasbourg was absolutely amazing, and we learned a ton of history, and it was well worth our while, especially since we were only in the city for two nights. So don't miss out on the free walking tours. And if you're traveling alone, these walking tours are a great way to meet other people too. I know I talked about needing to rent a car if you're going to some of the smaller villages. The exception would be the village of Colmar, which is definitely a little bigger than some of the smaller villages, I think. But the good news with Colmar is you have a train station with regular service from Strasbourg, so you can easily do a day trip. I think the train ride, too, is only about 40 minutes to an hour long, if I remember correctly. I could be getting that wrong, so don't quote me on that. But it does make a really phenomenal day trip um, if you don't want to be riding a car. However, I do recommend if you have room in your itinerary to spend the night because Colmar is so, so popular with day trippers. You get a ton of people coming in for the afternoon and crowding the town. Whereas if you spend the night, you'll have early morning and late night all to yourself. And I can just imagine how beautiful this town is all lit up. One tip though for Colmar, avoid going on a Monday because literally everything is closed. We went on a Monday and while we still had fun, the market was closed, both churches were closed. The one church actually said they were closed until the following week. So if you do want to do some shopping in Colmar or some more intensive sightseeing, my advice is avoiding Monday and picking another day to visit. As for speaking French when you're in this region, it's always good to learn a tiny bit of French before you go. Really a simple bonjour when entering a shop or a restaurant is all you really need. The people here are fantastic. They were super sweet to me. They were super sweet to my friend. So don't stress out about your French so much because the people really are helpful and are happy to have you there, at least in my experience. I obviously can't speak for everybody, but the locals really were fantastic on this trip so thanks for that if you live in either of these cities last but not least try not to overdo it here with your itinerary Strasbourg in particular has a lot of really cool small museums but really I thought the beauty of this region was just walking around seeing the gorgeous architecture trying the bakeries going shopping and just taking in the entire atmosphere so don't pack your itinerary too much every day because then you'll feel rushed and sad so that's going to be it for me today. So if you're planning a trip to France, definitely give Strasbourg a try, give Colmar a try. Um, something I always like to say about visiting France is expand your itinerary outside of Paris. Now, don't get me wrong. I love Paris. It's one of my favorite cities in the world. I know a lot of people on social media would disagree with that, but I really, really do love Paris. However, I will be the first to say that France is not Paris. There's just so much more out there for you to see and do. And if you can make it out to Strasbourg or you can make it out to Colmar, I highly recommend that you give it a shot because it really is a beautiful place and so different from other areas of France. So I'm going to link more blog posts in the description below. Feel free to check those out and feel free to subscribe to my channel if you want to. I'm still getting used to YouTube and how to exactly put videos together. So I know that the quality may not be the greatest, but I appreciate you all for sticking around and safe travels. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Take care.